Yo, KFG family, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Boy Johnny 25 I'm going to do a SmackDown Live review and results video. You guys new network media right away. Turn on those post notifications and let's get started. SmackDown Live was like garbage. It was garbage. You know what I'm saying? It says tonight's WWE SmackDown opens, opens live from Citizens Business Bank Air Arena in, in on Tor Toronto, California. As Tom Phillips welcomes us, he joins by Corey Graves and Byron Saxton. Then we get. Then we get Rico right to the ring, and out comes the new day. Big E and Xavier Woods, WWE Champion, Kobe Kissing, they head to the ring as Greg Hamilton does the introduction. Kofi, it says, um, it says Kofi welcomes everyone to SmackDown Live, they, and they plug WWE Stumbling Grounds. The new day starts in with their comedy until the music hits, and out comes Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler says, This just Triple New Day, out here distracting everyone from what we all know from Super Showdown. Kofi's doesn't deserve to be WWE Champion. WWE Champion. Ziggler goes on talk, taking shots, going back and forth on the mic with Kofi. Kofi warns Ziggler ahead of his single match with Xavier Woods. Tonight, Ziggler promised to become out on top and then take the WWE title from Kofi at Stumping Grounds and Sunday. Ziggler says Kofi doesn't too doesn't too deserve to be champion without the new day. New day he's he's nothing. Then we go from Ziggler heads to the ring in the first match as we see SmackDown's women's champion Bailey segment getting ready. We go to commercial break. Dom Ziggler versus Xavier Woods. This match was just freaking terrible. Freaking terrible. It says the winner of the match, Dolph Ziggler. Then it says after the match, Ziggler stands tall as his music hits. We go to the replay. Ziggler exits while it was this player on his back in the ring. The announcer show us footage of the feud between Corbin and the WWE Universal Champion Seth Rollins from this week's Raw. We also see Rollins beating on Brock Lesnar with a steel chair at Super Showdown. And Rollins recently chair shots to potential special referees for stomping grounds. We also see how Raw ended with Corbin standing over Rollins after the main event. The camera the camera cuts backstage to show Benjamin and the B team in the hallway. Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas are interested in being special special referee for stomping grounds. Sheldon says there there is not stupid there are not stupid and Barry Corbin just wants to use anyone he can to win the, a title. He but he wants to use Corbin too. Mel Hardy comes walking out of Corbin's office apparently apparently after his interview for the special referee gig. Matt says Matt says Shelton is next and then walks off. What a terrible segment. It says we see Alexa Bliss preparing for her segment. We go to commercial break. Terrible segment. I don't really care. It says man, this don't make any sense, man. It says the B team versus heavy machinery. Don't care. I already knew the heavy machinery won. It says uh it says after the match, Rowan and Brian stare at heavy machinery down as they celebrate with the win. Otis and Tucker heads up to the ramp as their music Place. The WWE, WWE Universal Champion Seth Rollins suddenly hits the ring with a steel chair. Uh, Rollins unloads on Axel in Dallas with chair shots, taking turns as fans count along with him. Rollins delivers a, punt, a bunch of chair shots to the B team and stands tall in the middle of the ring, finishing, burning it down now. Okay, let me keep reading. We see an anonymous. Uh, a limousine, a limousine pull up outside of the arena. Shammy Man steps out and walks in. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens approach him to inform, inform him what Seth Rollins just did. Sami Zayn, he's guest here under the wild card rule, and he doesn't feel safe. Owens agrees and says, we're got to do something about this. Sami and Owens tells Shane he's, he has a problem with the with both champions, Rollins and Kobe Kingston, because they are because they are bad people. Shane promised a two out of three falls match with Rollins and Kobe Kingston versus Owens and Sami Zayn for tonight. Shane walks walks away and says he has a few things to go addressed 
addressed Sammy and Owens on a thrill with his decision back to the commercial. That segment was just terrible. It don't make no freaking sense. But oh well, this the SmackDown Live was just getting worse and worse. This is a tag team elimination match. The Miz and R Truth versus Drew McIntyre. What's this Elias and Drew McIntyre? This match was just got awful. Got awful. It don't make any sense. It don't make any sense. It says we're back to the ring. The match is on the way as the WWE 24-7 champion R Troop and the Miz go at it with Elias and Drew McIntyre and back and forth starts True shows off his show off some and dance around after some offense, but Drew turns it back around him. It just this 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 is terrible. This is terrible. It says the winner of the match, Drew McIntyre and Elias, don't care about them both. It don't care. I don't. I just don't really care. It says after the match, Shane raised the arm of Drew and Elias in the ring, stands over Miz. The triple team attack begins now as Miz eats the Claymore kick. They hold Miz as Drew backs up and says, "Father is Roman." Before delivering another Claymore kick to Miz. The announcers go over the over the card for Sunday's WWE Stumble Grounds and pay-per-view. I'm not excited for Stumble Grounds. Stumble, Down, Stumble Grounds is going to be garbage. Amber Moon is backstage looking for Manny Rose and Sonya Deville, with Carmella is looking for our truth They can't help each other out and keep searching. Moon comes up on Deville and Rose are eating donuts. They take shots at Moon. She slaps a donut out of her face and attack them both. The bill launches Moon into the wall as they bro as they brawl. Officials come over to break it up. Rose has a smile on her face with the bill fills up. It says uh, we see Seth Rollins and Kobe Kissing backstage talking about the steel chair. Still to come Bray Wyatt's Firefly Funhouse segment from Raw we go to commercial break. See man, we, this 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 is this is terrible. It says backstage, back from the break, and WWE twenty four seven champion R Troop is outside looking for a Camille. So they they can leave. A referee appears, and True thinks it it's an Uber driver. Drake Maverick appears dressed as Carmella. This leads to Drake pinning Truth to become the new champion. Drake hops in his in an SUV. Um, belongs to the referee and drives off with it. Mentioning how he's getting married, Truth thinks that Truth, Truth thinks, still thinks it was Carmella who pinned him for the title. We get a replay of Bray Wyatt Fire Funhouse segment for Raw. This is this is terrible. You know what I'm saying? Two out of three, two out two two out of three falls. Kofi Kingston and Seth Rollins versus Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. This this match just didn't do well for me. It didn't do well for me. It didn't do well. It says the winner of the match, Kofi, Seth Rollins and Kofi Kingston. SmackDown Live was getting worse and worse and worse. It's just worse. I don't care about SmackDown Live. I don't care about Stumping Grounds. I'm not too excited about Stumping Grounds. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think of SmackDown Live because SmackDown Live was just terrible. You know what I'm saying? That's just my own opinion, my own thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Bailey and the moment of bliss was terrible as well. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they fight it out, you know what I'm saying, on Moment of Bliss. I don't know why. It's just terrible. But um, if you guys enjoyed my SmackDown Live review and results video, give me 20 likes on this video. Comment down below what you guys think of SmackDown. And, um, this is your boy, People Giant 25, KLG Family Gang. See you guys later, and I'm out.